Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about how to recognize your core values. Now, by pushing forward, focusing on utilizing our core values, we will move closer to our goal, okay? And so an easy way to know if we're getting closer to our goal is what examples and evidence within your daily activities do you see are related to your goals? This will also allow you to recognize what your core values are, right? Because if this is truly something you believe in, if this really is a part of you and you believe that growth and abundance and the prosperity that will come from you, the success that you will achieve, if you believe that this idea is a part of that, then you're going to see evidence of it within your daily routine, right? Not seeing evidence within your daily routine means that it's just a whim. Oh yeah, I love being around people, but you never are. Okay, it's a whim. Could it be awkward? If you know deep down inside you enjoy being around people, but maybe you're just uh, an introvert and it's a little weird getting to know people. Yeah, there's always going to be something that might jump in there and make things weird, right? That's the beauty of life. Uh, there's the unknown, right? Or the unforeseen. But I would highly recommend that you look into evidence within your life, within your daily routine, that promotes your core values. And that will help validate to you that, yes, I am recognizing my core value. I am, uh, my core value uh, is leadership. It is community. It is um, knowledge, right? It is helping people to grow. <clears throat> Another one is going to be uh, financially. You know, our, every aspect of our life is controlled by our core values, whether we're realizing it or not. My goal here with this video specifically is to give you some ideas on how to recognize your core values so that you can grow and you can become abundant and have abundance in your life because you deserve it. So where's all the money going? Okay. Is if your goal or if you have a goal of, okay, I want to get this car. Okay. I, there's a, I want to get a Lamborghini, let's say, but your money doesn't show that, right? You don't have a fund that you're going into, or maybe there's an, an investment specifically for raising enough money so that you can get that vehicle, right? Or you got the car and then you don't even pay the bills, right? Where's the money going? Are you rather, instead of uh, saving $20 a week, are you spending that $20 a week? Instead of saving it for your vehicle, you're putting it towards uh, alcohol and weed. Uh, you're putting it towards frivolous things that do not matter and do not push you closer to the goals that you have, right? So where's the money going? You'll know what you're spending your money on. You know what you're spending your time on. You'll know uh, what you're spending your love on, right? When you knowing those three things are going to allow you to see, well, uh, do I really believe this? Is this really a value of mine? Or is this just a whim? Am I just blatantly saying that I want things and then just throwing it to the wind and seeing what happens? Uh, which we're all a victim of, right? We all go through that phase. Um, but living a life like that will not promote abundance. It'll promote scarcity, right? You're not going to think that you can acquire the things you want to acquire because they're not rooted deep within from deep within you, right? They, they don't come from you. They just come from an idea. Oh, I saw that and that looks cool. So I want one of that, right? It's consumerism. Anything that comes from within you, from who you truly are, you will have and you will see and you will do anything you can to achieve it, right? It doesn't happen overnight, obviously, but it's there and it's waiting for you. <clears throat> now, 
Um, last thing I wanted to talk to cover on was what do you surround yourself with? What must be around you at all times, right? These are, these are questions for you to ask yourself. We're trying to figure out what are your core values? How can I tap into the foundation of who I truly am so that I can make that person grow and I can become that great version of me that wants to meet me, that's waiting for me, right? Just envision your identical twin literally down the road staring at you. You're walking in circles over here and you're the better version of you is just staring at you saying, hey, just stop spinning, stop grinding your gears. Shut that down. Get out. Walk this way. Your core values will get you in that direction, right? Your foundation. You got to understand your foundation. If your foundation is, is not solid, everything's going to fall apart, right? So what are you surrounding yourself with? What are you surrounding yourself with? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Why are you surrounding yourself with those things? Stop. Turn around, go the other way, focus on your core values. Let who you really are direct where you need to go. I hope this helps. Uh, once again, subscribe, hit the like button, share this with someone you love. And uh, thank you.